commercial version i7 in this tutorial we are going to start with the software by seeing how to create a company file in the search gestion commercial and in the subsequent videos we are going to be seeing how to be manipulating the software making sales tracking inventory and much more so let's get started just like search contability um we will have to create a company file once we open the software uh, once the software is opened to create uh, the company you go to file or fichier and you take uh, nouveau if you have an existing file in your computer you will have to take uh, ouvrir like to open the existing file but given that you do not have um, an accounting or a, a trading file you will have to take nouveau so when you take nouveau this dialog box is going to appear for you to start creating the company uh, you should understand that presently what is um, coming up here is a process in the creation of the company file which is called the assistance mode or the wizard mode if uh, you click on nouveau and this dialog box does not appear it therefore means that you did not activate the assistance mode in the creation of the company so let me close this the assistance mode can be activated under the menu bar finet or window and you will see here mode assistance is ticked if it's in the english version you are going to see a wizard mode so if it is not ticked you tick it so you can have the possibility of creating your company with the assistance of the software so we go to fichier we take nouveau this appears um they are asking here if you want to create the trading file like a trading because gestion commercial is a trading file they're asking whether you want to create a trading file with an existing accounting file because you need to understand that the trading file works accordingly with the accounting file they are linked together because everything you'll be doing in the trading file will have to be attached to the accounting file even in the creation process we're going to be creating two files where we, one will be the accounting file and one will be the trading file so here they're asking if you want to use an existing accounting file and attach that existing accounting file to the trading file we are about to create when i talk about trading file i'm talking about the file for gestion commercial so for our case let's let's not say we want to use an existing file let's say we want to create a new accounting file which will be attached to the current trading file we are creating so i'll take the second option and i'll take swivel yeah, and the killer is also share to society. This way I have to put the name of the business. The name of the business I'm going to call it for example professed shopping. So from here I will take the key, the, the, the option no, because yes, souhaité vous reprendre ces informations dans la fiche d'identification dossier de création. When you install the software in a machine, it is possible that the person who installed the software in the machine had imputed some information in the software, um, of which those information might not be the information relating to professed shopping I am currently creating of which you could have your own company you are creating those information might not be the same taking yes or we will call for the information that person had imputed in the system taking no will say no you are going to set up the information for this business manually from there you take shriver and what comes up at the informations in question had it been you take yes the informations of the person who installed the software will appear in here but still due to the fact that we took no we will have to enter all these informations manually so you have to put um, um, the activities i'm going to say for example uh, purchase um, and, uh, and sales however all these informations can be uh, modified later after the creation so if you have time you can be imputing the address complement uh, the post postal code the town region and so on so for my case i'm going to 
go a little bit faster but you can keep on imputing you can pause the video and input all the informations before you take river so from here they are asking to define the accounting period for the accounting file remember as i said earlier before the accounting the, 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 the trading file is going to be working accordingly with an accounting file so this are set up relating to that accounting file which will be attached to the trading file they are asking for the length or the, 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 the accounting period i'm going to allow from 1st january to 31st december of the year uh compte general the length of account they're asking for the length of account if you want your length of account to vary between 3 to 13 characters you allow it at variable so you have the possibility to create account numbers between three you can create an account number with four characters you can create an account number with five characters up to 13 characters uh, for our case i'm going to say the length of account should be eight if i select it here it means i'll not have the possibility to create an account number with more than eight characters i'll not have the possibility to create an account number with less than eight characters so that is it uh, same thing with uh, section analytic um, uh, cost accounts cost account numbers if you want to set it up to a particular number of characters you can set it up same as you could allow it at the variable rate it all depends on you and how your business or the enterprise is going to be functioning so here yeah, i'm taking shriver uh, talking about the currency i'm not going to be using euro because i'm in cameroon and i'm not using euro i'm going to take all three minutes orders and here i'm going to put the currency um i'll be using so here yeah, i'll put from c f a um shriver uh the number of decimal places after every uh, every amount so i'm going to allow two decimal places i'm going to allow my decimal separator to be a point and i'm going to allow my thousand separator to be a comma if i want to make for example my thousand separator to be space i'm surely going to take this empty box so that it should give me space for thousands separator for my case i'm just going to allow it at comma the code iso you can always go online and check the iso code for your country uh, for cameroon um it is c uh mr and the single i'm going to put a sign for my currency fr i'm taking suivant reprise des éléments comptables look at it reprise des éléments comptables when they say reprise des éléments comptables we're talking about taking accounting information from the um, default file which is installed in the machine when you install such in a machine let it be such contability or accounting let it be such gestion commercial or trading there is a default file which installs in your machine and uh, that file is called bijou essa if you go search um, for example uh, in your machine you are going to see uh, if you go search bijou you are going to see a company file called bijou essa this is a company located in france which already has all the information of this company inside their journal codes their tax rates their um, uh, means of payments and everything is inside the accounting plan is inside by choosing the first option you are ex accepting to migrate all those informations into your accounting file by choosing the second option you are going to select some of the informations in that visual as i am bring in your accounting file of which if you select the second option you will have the possibility to choose but by default the accounting plan is going to enter in your company file which is not correct because the accounting plan they are using is surely the france accounting plan not following the ohada accounting plan we are using in cameroon for example so because of this we will not like uh, to choose the first and second option we're going to choose the third option to say that um, informations are going to be set up manually remember these are informations relating to the accounting file you can already see we're setting up the accounting file though we are creating a trading file though we're creating a file in gestion commercial so i'm taking suivant now reprise des éléments commerciaux remember the previous one was reprise des éléments comptables now the second one is reprise des éléments commerciaux still there's bijou sr for trading file for commercial for commercial purposes which is installed in your machine as you install such gestion commercial or such trading 100 
they are equally asking if you want to import their uh, uh, cat, uh, their category tariff, their prices category, their category contact, their accounting category, their conditions of uh, um, um, of deliveries and so on. Still, we are not going to select the first option. We are not going to select the second option. We are still going to select the third option to say that we are going to set up our own informations manually, so that you should not carry information from Sage, from a Bijou SR, the company located in France, or the default file which is installed in your company. Here we take suivant, and you still take suivant again. Here you have the possibility to start saving the file now. Creation d'un fichier comptable. Here, if you look at it. You are going to see fichier comptable. As I told you, when you are creating a trading file, you are going to be saving two, I mean two files. One for the accounting purpose and then the second one for commercial purpose. The second one which is for commercial purpose is the main, um, uh, is the main company file where you are going to be making your trading transactions. Transactions related to gestion commercial. But as a noun, they are asking you to create the fichier content. So don't be confused when we will go further and this very same information will show up. The first time you are saving is for the fichier contact. So I'm going to take Papuri and you can see it will direct us to the computer for us to save the, the, the file. So I'm going to save it, for example, on my desktop and I'm going to create a folder so you can see clearly. I'm going to create a folder. Uh, on my desktop so I'll just click on new folder I'll call it uh, the name of the company for example um, all right so I'm going to open the folder I'm going to open the folder so I'm going to save it in this folder now when you even see the save as type you are seeing is fichier contact my so currently we are creating the accounting part of the um, uh, the company file so i'm going to still name it professed shopping for example and i'm going to distinguish it by putting something like uh, uh, a acc so that at the end you will see that this one is the accounting file like acc just to represent accounting so i'm going to save it from here when i save it it takes me back here and I have to take suivant. You can see Profess Shopping ACC dot Maya, Maya, which is the extension for accounting for the accounting software. So from here, I'm going to take suivant. As I take suivant, you see again this very same information coming, but creation de fichier commercial, not fichier comptable, but fichier commercial. You see, we are going to save for the second time, and for this time, we are saving the commercial part of the software which is Sage Gestion Commercial where we are going to be managing stock and so on. So from here I will take Parcouri and uh, I will go look for the folder I created on the desktop and you can see the save as type is Fichier Commercial. I'm going to put there the first shopping for example and I'm going to distinguish it with uh, um, uh, commercial like com with C -L -C -O -M, so that you should understand that this is the fichier commercial so I take save and from here I am at the end of the creation process of a company file in a Sage Gestion commercial so I'm going to take fun as I take fun you are going to see here the name of the company is going to appear once you see the name of the company appearing here you should be happy because you have successfully created an, uh, a trading file and automatically a dialog box like this will appear where you can make modifications uh, of the information you had to input during the creation process as I told you have now the possibility to manage all these addresses and so on so uh, you could close it you could close it if you want to get back to those informations which just pop up you go to fichier you are going to see parameter de société this dialog box will appear and you take identification on that identification you can modify all the information you can input all the information of the company the website uh, the email phone number postal code address and so on so i'm going to close everything i'm going to go to fichier fermé to close the 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 the, the the company file and uh, I'll go back to 
um, I'll go back to my desktop and on my desktop you can see the file has been created um, the file has been created the folder has been created professor shopping if I double click inside you are going to see the two files are going to be there one for profess shopping accounting and one for profess shopping content you can even see the distinction here fisher contact fisher commercial it means henceforth if you want to make your trading transactions you are going to be opening sage um, uh, uh, fisher commercial if you want to make accounting related transactions for this very same company you surely going to open sage with acc um uh, representing the accounting file now um if you want to open you just have to double click on this and uh, it is going to open so i can still come from the software i go to fichier instead of taking nouveau i'm going to take away like to open an existing file it will take me to the folder and i double click on it that's the folder that is open they are going to ask for password you have not yet created any password so when this pops up you just take okay that is how you create a company file in Sage Gestion Commercial. See you in the next video.